Yo, what's going on guys? It's Fat Gold Thor here and today we're going to be taking a look at these brand new sneak peeks that we got for the brand new World Tour promo that should be dropping tomorrow. So let's get into it. Before we do hop on in, I do just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support recently. We did manage to hit 3k subscribers and hey, let's try and get to 5k before the end of the year. I think it's definitely possible, especially with all the growth on the channel that we've had, especially recently. But yeah, I can't thank you guys enough, but let's get into this. So what we've got here is a brand new World Tour promo. As you can see, it's similar to last season where we had a World Tour promo towards the end of the season and that sort of went on for the rest of the season pretty much but this one is going to last I think it's six days and you basically just get through similar to lightning versus thunder but what we got here is you've got 98 overall masters we'll go through their stats so you've got a 98 Dane 98 Tatum and then those are the USA sides and then you've got the world's um, players over there so you've got a 98 Fournier and a 98 Marc Gasol now this icon over here the little basketball icon above the world tour logo we have no idea what that is but that probably will be the new promo which we'll get sneak peeks for on Sunday and then the promo should be out on Monday. So it's all that stuff to look forward to as well. But as I said, this one's going to last for six days. And as you can see, you got 100 overall Carmelo Anthony Master and he has this play style select, which is great. Giving out the high fly boost. So maybe he has the dunk package because a lot of the players that are giving out high fly boost, like the Jal Morant, like um, Giannis Antetokounmpo from a previous Colossus promo, like Vince Carter from the Lightning vs Thunder promo, all of those guys, they had a dunk package. So maybe this Carmelo Anthony also does. His card is a little bit animated, like the flag sort of waves in the background, which is pretty sick. But what you got here is you're going to have to trade in all four 98 overall masters. You'll get them back and you'll get this 100 overall card. Carmelo Anthony and the great thing is you can pick his play style because Finesse I think need a good small forward that's free to play and you can get him again strategic need one as well because at the moment the best one is LeBron James but you have to pay and get him unless you're like me and you can win him in a giveaway but anyway you can try and get these cards and they are going to be really good hopefully you can get them no money spent we're gonna have to wait for the promo to actually drop tomorrow again make sure you're subscribed because when this promo does drop I'm going to be showing you how you can get that Carmelo Anthony for free but what we've got here is we've got some of his stats obviously giving out that gold high flyer boost his stats are pretty nice 90 dunking 100 layup 100 inside the paint shot 101 scoring with contact 103 mid-range shot 99 three-point shot 100 contested shot 100 shooting touch so those shooting stats absolutely nuts he's going to be shooting the lights out hopefully and of course he's going to be going into the paint and getting those nasty dunks in as well so that's going to be really good defensive wise he's not as good but on the playmaking side he is good so i think on the offensive side he's going to be a really good player defensive wise not as good but it's going to be a toss-up between him and lebron james for the best like strategic small forward and then at the moment, I don't know who the best finesse small forward is, but he's definitely going to be up there. And especially because he has no money spent, hopefully you will be able to get him. But again, we're going to have to wait and see whether you can get him. Then he got his 98 Dame. He is a finesse point guard. He's got 100 speed, 97 agility, 96 dribble speed, 94 three throw, 96 mid range, 103 point shot, which is pretty nice to have for a Dame card. 96 dunking, 95 layup. And again, he's more of an offensive player, as you can see there. His playmaking stats are pretty good as well. As you can see, his playmaking stats are all right defensive wise he's not as good his steals 90 which is pretty good as well especially for a point guard then you got this jason tatum over here strategic power forward i know we've got another one of them but it's all right because he's basically like a stepping stone as it were to get that Carmelo anthony who is a better card for any play style and then you've got a 96 dunking for him a 98 layup 96 three-point shot 90 mid-range shot so he's got some decent stats over there he might be an upgrade from the power forward that we have at the moment um, for strategic the best one that we have but it depends whether he's going to be worth it because this card might have better stats than spicy p but then spicy p is giving out those boosts so it's up to you whether you need him again defensive wise he's looking a little bit better than dame and carmelo but he's not as good on the but he's not as good on the offensive end but decent stats nonetheless he's looking pretty nice then you got a strategic shooting guard again Pretty decent card over here. Evan Fournier over there for the World Tour. Players like the World Master instead of the USA Masters, which he just went through. But this card's looking pretty decent. 95 agility, 94 dunking, 94 layup, 91 three-point shot, 91 contested shot, and 90 mid-range. So he's looking like a decent all-around card. Nothing like jumping out stats-wise, but a decent all-around card. His playmaking is pretty good. As you can see, most of them high 90s over there, which is really nice to see. Then you got this Mark Gasol, the other one of the World Tour Masters um, from the world side. He is a power our center so again it's whether you need him or not but he is like i said a stepping stone to getting that carmelo anthony which should be good for either play styles his rebounding stats are above 90 each of them which is pretty good 95 layup 88 dunking 83 three-point shot though he is a center so he's not going to be knocking down that many threes 90 mid-range shot so this is where this card shines a little bit on the defensive side as you can see all above 90 on that side playmaking is not even bad either but a 93 block is pretty good as well so what we've got here is the map it's looking very similar to the lightning versus thunder obviously you've got two sides you've got the usa side on the left 
and then you've got the world side on the right hand side over there but what you want to do to start off is you're going to have to start by picking a player from the usa or the world and like we had lightning versus thunder the player you pick it unlocks that side so we'll go on to that as well as to what nick picked because he managed to open that pack and show us what's in it as you can see, play USA events, and it's the same for the world um, side over there. You'll get some USA points and work your way towards 98 overall USA Masters. Exactly the same for the other side as well. As you can see, exactly the same stuff. You've got five events at the top. Then you've got these Blitz events at the bottom, which we'll go on to as well. Earn five 92 overall USA or world players and turn them into sets for select of their 98 overall masters. And then you can use all four 98 overall masters to get that Carmelo Anthony. We'll go on to the sets and I'll show you all those sneak peeks. As you can see, this is what sort of the USA side is looking like. I didn't manage to get a screenshot for the world side, but it's exactly the same. Five events at the top for each of the different positions, I'm guessing. Then, as you can see, these Blitz events over here. Now, later on in the stream, Nick said they were repeatable, but I don't think they are because it does say 0 out of 20. So I'm guessing it's like Lightning versus Thunder where you can just play through each of the 20 um, events and they'll reset. But if you guys remember, if you guys play through the Lightning versus Thunder, the reason we could get that Vince Carter no money spent is because there was a little bit of a glitch where you could just play through the same one again, repeatable as many times as you wanted. So we're going to have to wait and see if that's the same with this one. Keep your eyes out. Make sure you're using that if it does come out. But I don't know whether EO will probably look at that and fix it because obviously it has happened before so they'll probably will fix it these are the milestones it's going to be the same for the usa side as it is for the world side as you can see you're going to get those usa points if you're playing on the usa side you'll get some world tour tokens you'll get some 92 overall select players over there keep going all the way and i think it goes up to about a hundred thousand points over there as you can see the top one anywhere between a 98 to 92 overall select for that usa side over there it's looking like so that's going to be pretty decent you just want to get a ton of points as you can as many as you can to try and get as many players as you can as many tokens as you can world side exactly the same sort of stuff you get some 92 overall select packs some world tour tokens some extra gold players and elite players which you can actually use in the sets and you will get some 78 to 92 overall selects over there now this is a claim offer you'll get at the very beginning pick your side make sure you take a look at the masters first before you decide which one you want to go for but basically one of them will unlock the USA side and one of them will unlock the world side. So as you can see, you get a select pack where you can pick either Kyle Lowry. I'm probably going to say his name wrong, but Stadaransky. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Pick one of them two and that will unlock one of the sides of the map. Eventually you should be able to unlock both sides of the map if you get some of the nickname players. But as you can see, Kyle Lowry will unlock the USA side and Stadaransky, I'm probably saying his name wrong, will unlock that world side over there. Then as you can see, because Nick picked Carl Lowry, he unlocked the USA side, so he's unlocked those USA events over there. Going on into the sets, you can see similar stuff to the Lightning vs Thunder stuff that we got. Trading four gold players to get 600 USA tokens to get some USA points over there. Same stuff for the world stuff, and we'll get on into that. So as you can see, it's looking like you can just exchange any um, sort of off-season hype players so this mobile season any of those players looking like you can stick in this set that are within the range like 78 to 86 overall four of those gets you 600 usa points over there 12 of them gets you 2000 usa points so i'd probably go for the large usa exchange and then work your way and do this one as well and it's looking like these will probably have a cooldown as well but we never know and they are repeatable and then as you can see you want to exchange the 89 overall players you're getting from the milestones in this set over here to get a 92 overall select pack which again you'll get the 92 select pack in the milestones as well if you keep playing through those events 92 overall players you need each specific one so as you can see you need each specific one i think they're from different positions so you go through from like drew holiday booker pippin um kevin love and demarcus cousins go through all of them get each one in the set and then you will get a 98 overall select pack and that's basically the usa side over there world side exactly the same stuff 600 world points over there for four gold players or four elite players is there is a set for the large one so you can trade in and get 2000 i think it is world points over there then you've got these world players and they are all 92 overall over there you have to stick those in again it's the same ones you have to get exactly them so those specific ones trade in those five and you will get a 98 overall select and then as you can see here like we had with lightning versus thunder where it was simply the nicknames were lightning and thunder this one you got here you need 30 world tour tokens which again you'll get from the milestones maybe you get them in the store we didn't take a look at the store because nick didn't manage to get that up there but you will get this 94 overall select pack and i think one of them i think patty mills is um patty cakes so i think that's his nickname i could be wrong on that and then the other guy i'm not sure what his name is but i think his uh, nickname is black falcon so that's going to be those two over there and those ones you'll probably be able to stick in place of any of the other ones say you get patty cakes or patty mills he'll be on the world side i think because he's from australia not sure about that but then he'll be, be able to put in the sets for any world player i think that's how it's going to work but we'll have to wait and see when the promo actually does drop then as you can see trading each of those 98 overall players to get that 100 overall playstyle select 
Carmelo Anthony and you will get these 98 overall players back so that's all good. Now I did manage to make these notes because Nick just told us this but these are going to be the achievements for the promo and this I think it was the same in like El Dorado we had similar stuff but basically what you do is each of these achievements they're going to give you five tokens each so in total it's going to give you 30 tokens one of them is going to be 22 rebounds throughout the whole promo 12 dunks or layups 14 I think he said 14 because I couldn't tell whether Nick said 40 or 14 but I'm guessing it's 14 because 40 is just a ton of three pointers but we'll have to wait and see collect 10 world tour players two and a half thousand monthly master emblems and win 20 tour games tour games are probably going to be the events five tokens for each of these ones you you get and that will get you 30 tokens and the tokens I'm talking about or I'm guessing are these tokens over here so 30 of those will definitely get you one nicknames player guaranteed and those achievements over there they're looking pretty easy to do maybe just hop on into some seasons game maybe you even just play through some of the tour events you'll be getting monthly master emblems from those tour events either way and those events they'll help you do the statistic ones over here like rebounds dunks um three pointers and they'll help you get those world tour players so i'm guessing that's probably the way to go to get these extra tokens over here but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this world tour promo leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you are new again thank you all so much for 3k subscribers yeah that's gonna do it for the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace